Welcome back to my channel guys, Mariam here. Today's video is another roundup video that you all love featuring the best of beauty for 2019. You all know I test thousands of products on the daily. I review hundreds of products. This video is going to be featuring the very best that 2019 beauty industry had to offer us. I hope you are as excited about this video as I am. Remember to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can see all of my Wednesdays and Sundays videos and now let's get to it best of beauty 2019 here we go now I filmed this type of video in the beginning of 2019 for 2018 so I will link that video down below for your reference basically I'm gonna start out by going down the list of how I like to apply these products to my face so starting with makeup primer foundation concealer powder etc etc I will also be talking about some hair stuff some beauty gadgets perhaps some skincare and also keep in mind these are the products that have worked the best for me and products that I have used the most in 2019. Be sure to not only watch my roundup video, but also watch some other reviewers, YouTubers roundup videos so that you can get a much broader sense of what 2019 beauty looked like. Hope that makes sense. I actually did find a primer that I love in 2019 and it is the Strivectin Anti-Wrinkle Line Blur Factor Instant Wrinkle Blurring Primer. Now I still use my Japanese Sofina Prima Vista primer that I love as well as the Smashbox Pore Minimize Primer. The fact that it's a wrinkle blurring primer makes it especially effective on pores. I am someone who has oily skin and because of the oils, my skin is actually less susceptible to wrinkles than someone who has dry skin. In fact, my oily skin actually makes my pores a little bit larger and it makes my skin acne prone. Although this is a primer for wrinkles and I don't really have any, it helps me smooth out my pores and bumps. I love this primer for perfecting the canvas underneath my foundation. I've featured it several times in my IGTV videos as well as here on YouTube. $39 on sale at Ulta for $27 right now. I'm listing and linking everything down below as I always do for your convenience and definitely let me know if any of these products that I'm mentioning today are some of your favorites. All right, moving right along to foundation. Now, I actually have created a video specifically on foundations. There isn't one foundation that I love more than others. Wait, wait, actually there is. There is one foundation that I love more than others in 2019. And that is simply for the fact that this foundation features 100 shades. And I'm talking about the pure four in one Love Your Selfie Foundation. I do love this one a lot. Slightly more than all the other foundations that I've mentioned in my foundations roundup for 2019 video, which I will list below and pop up right here. The reason why it's because I think it's innovative. It's extremely inclusive. It's a hundred shades, $36. It's a universal foundation. That's great. Not just for oily skin, but great for normal skin, for dry skin, for aging skin, for teenage skin. This is just a miracle foundation. It's a game changer. And I've gotten so much feedback from some of you guys after watching watching my review and after hearing me talk about this foundation a lot. A lot of you guys have fallen in love with it as well. That makes me so super happy. Obviously, I want you to continue commenting and letting me know what has worked for you. I feel like this kind of feedback is very positive. It's something that makes me feel like I'm on the right path, like I'm suggesting the right things. So please keep it going. Ugh, my voice. I mean, we're only days after New Year's Eve, so you can tell I've been having a really great time. My voice is very raspy and that's okay. Moving right along to concealer. There's one concealer that I have been loving this year and no it's not Tarte Shape Tape because Tarte Shape Tape is not from 2019. The one that I'm talking about this year is Benefit Boing Cakeless Concealer. This cutie right here that looks like you're about to go back to school after winter break. Sorry to remind you. $22. Very similar consistency to Tarte Shape Tape. Very full coverage. Doesn't crease quickly so you must set it because it is a cream product. All cream products even the Tarte shape tape concealer they all crease unless you set it but it wears really well I'm wearing it right now it brightens it covers it's awesome and I love it I recommend it to you guys oh and I do have a review comparison video rather comparing the boy and cakeless concealer to Tarte shape tape so do check it out moving right along to the setting powder category featuring LC translucent setting powder this is my number one pick for setting powders of 2019 because 
It's simply a great formula. It perfects the skin, it mattifies, there's absolutely no flashback. I love LC Cosmetics. I love the way that they come out with products. They don't bombard us with launches. They do it slowly but surely, and all their products so far have been superior. Super duper awesome, available at Ulta as well as online. $29, not really a lot of product, but it's really good. I also really do like the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter translucent powder. I wear the shade Butter. It's also kind of on the lighter translucent side. I like this one for traveling. This one I like to keep at home, even though I also travel with this one. These two are my go-tos. Still loving my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder in shade number two. This one is not a loose translucent setting powder. This one does have a little bit of color, but it is extremely perfecting. It does not get cakey throughout the day. So this is one of those powders that I would say is really good to throw in your makeup bag and touch up throughout the day. Wow, there's been a lot of brow launches this year from Fenty to Benefit to Urban Decay. All of these products I love and use. I can't say that I have a favorite 2019 brow product. I feel like they're all kind of different and they all do different things. I like the Urban Decay brow blade for it's really cool, very tiny, fine marker to draw the individual brow hairs. Also has a nice waxy, very pigmented pencil on the other side, multiple shades, awesome to travel with, but it does not have a spoolie to brush out your brows. Whereas the Fenty Brow MVP, also a pencil on one side, has this cool toothbrush looking brush on the other side that I think is really great. Not only does it brush out the product, it also kind of grooms your brows in a different way. Similarly, I'm a fan of the Benefit Brow Styler. I actually went to Japan with Benefit for the launch of this product. I'm a fan, this is cool. Also a pencil on one side, not a spoolie and not a marker on the other side, but actually a powder, which is really nice and customizable because it allows you to create different brow looks with just this one product. Do I love them all? Yes. Do I use them all? Absolutely. Do I use one more than the other? Honestly, depends on the mood and my brows are ever changing. Sometimes I feel like doing the stray brow. Sometimes I feel like doing the wispy brow. Sometimes I feel like going all natural. It's really hard to find a favorite, at least for me. Let me know what your favorites are. Comment down below. Again, I know I keep reminding you, but it's important. It's important for us to communicate. My favorite bronzer and my most used bronzer for 2019 has been the MAC Canyon Dreamin' Bronzer. This one I believe is from the Electric Wonder collection. That entire collection comes with this cool pink gold marble packaging and I especially love the bronzers because well the consistency is awesome and the colors are just so believably bronze and tan looking. They don't look fake, they don't look like Fanta orange, they just look like skin and they feel like skin and I absolutely love it. I feel like this is a product that's kind of difficult to find online, even more difficult to find in person, but I will try to find a link for it, perhaps on Amazon. And if you do get your hands on it or if you do already have it, let me know how you love it. $30 I believe, but maybe hopefully I can find it cheaper on Amazon. I don't know. The blush that I've been wearing the most this year is Charlotte Tilbury Cheek to Sheet Swish and Pop Blusher in Ecstasy. I'm generally a huge fan of Charlotte Tilbury's complexion products and this blusher is no different. I love the shade of this particular duo blusher. I love the brighter peach in the center and the sort of muted, slightly shimmery, lighter peach in the perimeter. I feel like it's two products in one and it's just so flattering on anyone. It's just great. I love it. I also find that it's very skin perfecting. Whenever I get those big red blemishes on my cheeks or right under my cheeks, I go for this and bam, it erases it, or at least it hides it just a little bit better. Next, we have come to the eye products. Hmm, the eye category is a fun one for me as always. Well, first, let me talk about my favorite eyeshadow primer for the year. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you probably already know that I'm talking about Fenty Beauty eyeshadow primer. I use this one in pretty much every single one of my eyeshadow palette reviews, tutorial videos. This one is a keeper. I love her a long time. It's awesome. I recommend it to you guys over and over and over again. It's that bitch. Gripping, perfecting, makes your eyeshadows appear more vibrant, makes them last longer, all that good stuff. Eyeshadow palette category. There have been a lot of great eyeshadow palette launches this year. I did do a roundup video of that. I will include it down there. 
up here. Click on it after you watch this video. There is actually an honorary mention that I do want to bring up right now. It's some eyeshadow palettes, a collection of palettes actually, that came out in late 2019, but I did wear it for Christmas and I did review it in my previous video. I am talking about the Fenty Snap Shadows. I don't have them right here in front of me, but I do have a whole video on the Snap Shadows. Basically, I love those shadows. Snap, snap. I am wearing, I believe, the dark neutrals and the rose on my eyes right now. And how bomb is my makeup look? I also traveled with them to LA for New Year's, wore them on New Year's Eve, wore them the next day. They are a fave. I love them a lot. So definitely do check out that video if you are interested. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Another honorary mention. And well, this is kind of a sliding into a different category. Eyeshadow palettes slash best influencer collab of the year goes to <laughs> Jackie Ina X ABH. Now the reason why I'm mentioning this palette and the reason why I love it so much is simple. I've reached for it the most in 2019. Even though it came out in the summer, I found myself really drawn to these colors. These are festive, vibrant, pigmented shadows that wear beautifully, that apply beautifully. I feel Feel like the color stories are very relatable. There's a pink story, a gold story, purple, neutral, everything in between. Congratulations to Jackie and to ABH, which by the way is an unlikely duo and another reason to be celebrated. I love this one. I talked about it in my eyeshadows roundup video. I'm not gonna talk about it anymore because you already know. Speaking of influencer collabs, I can't not mention my own collab with Pixie. Obviously, it's another set of products that I've reached for the most this year. I've worn them so much. Basically, earlier this year, I came out with two lit kits with Pixie in night and in day. Right now I'm wearing the Liquid Fairy Lights Glitter Shadow from the Day Kit, which is available at Target as well as online. Wearing it right here on my inner corners as well as on my brow bone and going into the center of my lid. How pretty is that? It's just so festive, but it also looks amazing on a bare lid. This color right here, Coral Bang, this was my summer color, you guys. And I have worn it so much in so many Instagram posts, in so many events, in so many outings, in so many videos. It was definitely my number one one worn lip for the year. Currently on my lips, I am wearing the Matte Last Liquid Lip in Posh Nude, underneath the gloss, of course, which I'll talk about in just a little bit. And this Liquid Fairy Lights Glitter Shadow in Starry Night is the one that I wore for New Year's. I do have a quick Insta Story video on it. I've been reaching for these products a lot and I love them so much because, well, I kind of created them, not just for you, but also for me. So I hope that makes sense. I couldn't like not talk about the products that I created with Pixie in this influencer collab category. $18 each, available at Target and pixiebeauty.com. Links below. Oh my God, you guys, I discovered my favorite mascara for the year in 2019, and it is Essence Lash Princess Waterproof Mascara. I love this one so much. How many times have I actually worn this one in my videos? Practically every single video. First of all, it's waterproof, and if you have the Asian eye shape, if you have the epicanthic fold here in the inner corner, then you know what I'm talking about. Regular mascaras just can't cut it. Unfortunately, they smudge. A lot of the particles get stuck in the epicanthic fold, which makes it smudge even more, and it's just not sexy at the end of the day. So I always go for a waterproof formula, and the reason why I love Lash Princess is because it actually makes my lashes look longer, more separated, more full, more fanned out. It's perfect. And the best part, this product is like five bucks, you guys. I need to stock up. Oh, I just turned the page. We are halfway through, you guys. Is it me or are highlighters not really a thing thing the way that they were in 2018? I mean, they're still a thing, but not a thing thing. You know what I mean? I'm still a lover of highlighter, but I'm not necessarily going for that crazy blinding bling on the top of my cheekbone and down my nose bridge at the tip of my nose like I did in 2018. I'm not doing that anymore. I feel like I'm a different girl. Anyway, the highlighters that I have been loving and reaching for the most in 2019 are these Dior quads. $45 each. Expensive, yes. The 001 shade Universal came out in 2018, so I'm not gonna be talking about that one, but the 002 Glitz came out earlier this year. This is what it looks like. I have to turn it to the side so you guys can see. Love the packaging, love the fact that you can see all the colors on the back. All of these are sort of different degree 
Breeze of Shiny. This is the highlighter that I've been wearing the most for every day. I love the fact that it's peachy, so it's very complimentary to my skin tone. It's not super blinding, it's something that is perfect for every day. And I also love the fact that it's very skin perfecting. I'm wearing it on my cheekbone right now, and as you can tell, it's very subtle, but it's very, very pretty. I also love these two if I want a little bit more sparkle and a little bit more shine. This has been my go-to for an entire year. Now, I still have those days where I'm looking for that extra bling and that super vibrancy. For that, I've been reaching a lot for the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade Bloom Time, which is also a peach, but you probably can't tell on camera. Let's demonstrate. Boom. I mean, bam. This one is crazy. And the fact that you could get it from the drugstore, it's very inexpensive. I love it a lot. We have come to lashes. I don't really have a one specific pair of lashes that I've been loving the most this year that I would consider the best of the best. I am still very much drawn to the same brands. Love lashes from my girl Kim J Love. I love hers because they are fairly inexpensive, nine to $16. And all, and I repeat, all of the styles somehow magically and miraculously fit my eye shape. All of them make my eyes look better and more dressed up. I am wearing the style levels right now on my eyes and it's just so super dramatic without being heavy, without looking gaudy. I'm obsessed. I also am still a huge fan of my House of Lashes Iconic Lashes as well as Iconic Lights for every day. Plus the Lily Lashes, there's tons of styles from Lily that I absolutely love and adore. But Love Lashes, so good. Next up, oh yes, liquid liner. I do not have a favorite or best liner of 2019 to talk about in this video because I still love my The Bomb Cosmetics Schwing Liner as well as my Lancome Grandiose. Those are my favorites. They're the ones that look like a felt tip marker that you dip into the product rather than have the product seep through the felt tip. You know what I'm talking about? There's not really a lot of liquid liners that are like that out there on the market. So I stick with the ones that I love and that work for me and those are those two. Not gonna talk about it anymore because I don't really have anything else to say. As far as pencil liners or gel liners, I gotta give it to Victoria Beckham. Her pencil liners are some of the best. Yes, she did a collab with Estee Lauder a few years ago. Yes, she came out with some pencil liners that were amazing and impeccable. And these are the same formula. They are awesome and I use them all the time. I'm wearing the burgundy one on my lower lash line and in my waterline right now. I believe they are somewhere around 19 or $20 so not super over the top obscenely expensive. Not really cheap, but they're worth it. And my voice is so shot. Oh, speaking of Victoria Beckham, I also really, really love her lip liners. I also love Charlotte Tilbury's lip liners. Laura Mercier has amazing lip liners. Nothing really new for 2019 outside of Victoria Beckham. The shade that I use constantly is number two. This one here, I'm wearing it today. In the lip category, I decided that instead of going over all the products that I've been loving, I am just gonna go for some shades. In the nude category, I have been loving a lot of Natasha Denona's I Need a Nude Lipstick. These are bullet lipsticks that I've reviewed and I have a video on. You can basically watch me swatch all of the colors. My lips are throbbing at the end, but totally worth it. Love those. I'm also a fan of Huda Beauty's Power Mats. She has come out with quite a few of them. The nudes, the reds, the rosies. They are really, really good quality. I've reviewed pretty much every single collection. Check it out if you haven't already. Now, going back to colors. My most worn nude lipstick for 2019 has been my posh nude from my pixie collab from the night lit kit i love this color so much i feel like it's the perfect kind of neutral leaning cool nude that looks amazing on warm skin tones like mine it actually pops on my skin tone which is why i chose this particular color and the reason why i decided to collab with pixie in creating some liquid lipsticks is because i already love their liquid lipsticks if you watch my 2018 beauty favorites video you will see that i'm constantly and consistently favoriting and loving Pixie's liquid lipsticks. They are slightly cheaper than some of the other brands out there. They have a really great applicator. I love the scent. I love the longevity. I love how natural they feel on the lips, not overly drying. And when they asked me to collab with them, I knew it immediately. I had to create some lipsticks. My favorite nude lip gloss for the year, Artist Couture, man. Artist Couture Uncensored 2.0. I feel like a 
Angels Mac Daddy's lip glosses cannot be topped. They are the shit. Period. And you know how I'm spelling that. His lip glosses are just so luscious. They are so over the top. They're so shiny. They feel comfortable on the lips. They are so super duper pigmented. They give the lips that 3D effect, that plastic, but also oh good sensation. And I am here for them and I love them. I also love the shade Shameless. This one is slightly more pink. I wear this one a lot as well, but right now on my lips, on top of my Posh Nude is Uncensored 2.0. So good. $18 available at Sephora. Pick them up before they sell out. Oh my gosh, my favorite red for 2019 is Persona Cosmetics by my girl Sona. The color is called Holy Grail and I'm gonna pop up a picture right here. This is my Christmas look and I wore this lipstick the entire night for dinner, for drinking, for the belligerent after party afterwards and my lips stayed put. I love this color so much. Beautiful, neutral, slightly blue leaning red that looks amazing on everyone. It makes the lips look super bright and clean. Hands down, my favorite red for the year. Hands down. And now I think I want to mention some hair products because um, I don't know if you noticed, but I did chop half of my hair off and I did lighten my hair this year. Well, last year in 2019. Ever since I cut and lightened my hair, I had to create a whole new system of hairstyling. I had to really figure out what works for this length, for this cut. And here are some of the products that have been my absolute faves, my absolute most reached for. I actually don't even know which product to start with. I just want to say the brand. IGK Hair Care has been my number one favorite go-to hair brand for all hair products. I love everything that they have to offer from their dry shampoos to their coconut oil gel, which is like the most amazing product ever in case you want to slick back your hair, in case you want to play up those baby hairs, or if you want the super sleek look, that product is amazing. It tames flyaways, everything. Also a huge fan of their blocked water resistant hair shield. This is great if you're trying to achieve that wet hair look. If you have frizzy hair or if you live in a humidity city like New York, you need IGK Crybaby. This product is amazing. Basically an anti-frizz smoothing serum. Just need a drop of this, work it through the length of your hair, or in my case, I like to work it through the root because that is where my hair gets frizzy for some reason and voila it is super sleek and super smooth I used it today they also have this incredible no crunch flexible hold hairspray with micro light pearl reflectors this product here gives you the ultimate shine the only thing is you can't overdo it if you spray too much you will look kind of greasy just like one two sprays here one two sprays here and boom wearing it today did i overdo it another hair product that i've been loving is not from igk actually from bumble and bumble it's their thickening dry spun texture spray and i love to use this for those times when i style my hair in waves so whenever i use a curling iron or even a crimper or even if i do the braids and then unbraid my hair and I want that airy sort of texture that looks very natural, kind of slept in, but very easy, almost California beachy style. This is what I reach for and it's amazing. This is my holy grail product from Bumble and Bumble. I can't live without it and I will not live without it. Speaking of hair, I did discover my favorite beauty gadget for the year. It's a very, very expensive beauty gadget. I am talking about my Dyson hair dryer. You guys, I cannot live without this product. This is the mother of all mothers when it comes to blow dryers. Not only does it cut your blow drying time in half, it's also super quiet, it's super lightweight, and it gets rid of frizz. Probably the only hair dryer that I've ever used that's able to deliver those kinds of results in such a short drying time. Honestly, for me, it takes no more than seven minutes to dry all of my hair. I gotta tell you, I have a a lot of hair. It might be fine, but there's a lot of it and typically it takes a long time to dry. If I ever go to bed with wet hair, I wake up the next morning with wet hair. Yes, this is very expensive. It's 400 bucks, but it's absolutely worth it. I haven't found anything better. Everything else barely even scratches the surface of how good this Dyson hair dryer is. If you can afford it, I highly recommend it. I actually really want to get the Dyson Airwrap. It's also a blow dryer, but also a styler in one. There's all these attachments that you could use 
use to sleek your hair, to make it more voluminous, to make it curly, etc. But I think it's more meant for longer hair, so I don't really have a need for it right now. But trust me, once my hair grows out, gonna get my hands on that Dyson hair wrap. Hair wrap or air wrap? No idea. You guys, we've made it to the end. My voice is super raspy, but I could not not tell you about this product, especially given the fact that I use it all the time. You ask me about it all the time, especially on Insta stories, because I love to use it for traveling. I am talking about my awesome face masks. I'm gonna pop up some pictures right here of me in my favorite Japanese face masks that not only protect you from germs while you're traveling. Yes, they also hide you from the world in case you're not wearing makeup and you don't wanna be seen. Now these specific masks I got in Japan, but I found that you can also get them on Amazon and of course I will link them. But the cool thing about these is that they are made out of this really unique foam that actually cools your face while you're wearing it. So it doesn't feel like you're suffocating in your own bad breath. And it also just looks really badass and like you're about to kick some ass. I do have one more category that I want to mention and it is the best new beauty brand category. Are you guys ready? This brand is actually a skincare brand. So definitely let me know if you want to see a whole skincare favorites roundup for 2019 in my next video. The best new brand for 2019, in my humble opinion, is Glow Recipe. What, 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 what? The reason why I love Glow Recipe is because I love all of their products. They are clean, they are cruelty free, chemical free, sulfate free, all that bad stuff free. They're kind of like very cool, innovative hybrid products that work very well together. You can pair one with another. There's a lot of very user friendly skincare to makeup type of products like this Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist, which is great for hydrating your face or for setting or resetting your makeup. Basically, I am a huge fan. I feel like their products aren't super expensive, they're very attainable, and I want to see more from them. I think they're a very cool emerging brand, and I expect very big things for Glow Recipe in 2020. Mark my words, you guys. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching, for listening, sticking with me. I am out and about. I gotta go like rest up my voice because this shit ain't cute. Click on some of my other videos right here. Make sure you check out my 2018 favorites. I will see you in my next one. I love you guys so much. Mwah!